Good morning guys. So I just thought I'd do a really quick video this morning just about my kind of morning routine because I haven't actually done that and I just thought um, what would be a good piece of advice for for new mothers out there or in general I think for, for people who struggle slightly with um, morning routines and just getting themselves in the right mindset straight in the, for the first thing in the morning and I just wanted to share a little bit of uh, my routine and kind of what I do from the moment I wake up I just woke up about half an hour ago um, and I made myself a little coffee so all my mornings kind of start the same which is pretty cool because I really don't mind I like my routine and I think it's a um, healthy routine um, I made myself a, a, a coffee which involved only one teaspoon of instant coffee because you shouldn't have more than 200 milligrams of caffeine per day when you're pregnant um, as that might affect the whole baby's weight and it could be born prematurely and might have hyper uh, tension and all sorts of other um, you know abnormalities and it's not healthy for your baby to, to have more than that however if you do some days exceed that amount uh, don't beat yourself for it because it's not the end of the world um, so that's what I do I make myself a quick coffee uh, for the past probably even three weeks a month or so I have been um, eating pretty much the same breakfast every morning and that involves two pieces of toast and that is two pieces of toast with brown toast with um, Lord Park butter which is kind of my favorite now and normally I ha would have blackcurrant conserve but today I have raspberry conserve uh, but blackcurrant one is amazing because it's just kind of sweet sour not overly sweet and it's just perfect and it goes perfect with my coffee um, so that's what I do the first thing in the morning I make my coffee make my toast then I go back into bed not actually under the blanket but I go back in bed and I read um, a few verses from my bible I am not a spiritual guru or religious person or anything like that, but it does help me uh, because it encourages me. When I read a few couple of verses from the Bible, it just gets my mind in the right place and it encourages me. Um, I don't really go through the Old Testament or things like that. I kind of just go, you know, I open the Bible and I read something and then I have also a... Um, kind of meditation from the bible that i read online and it's called daily bread that also encourages me it's always a, a word of encouragement and it's not necessarily overly spiritual so don't worry you don't need to be a religious person or anything like that but if you do believe in god that does help me at least to bring positivity in my head and hope and encourage myself especially when i struggle with various uh you know challenges um and then i also read um a word from this book which is called friendship the joy of connection and is by dr anthony gunn and uh, there are a few quotes um in here well it's a bit of a like a word of advice it just looks like that obviously it's upside down i'm sorry but um there's some um words of positivity and encouragement here and kind of some life advices for example one of the titles is reduce cortisol in your life and it talks about uh, how stress can affect you and how it affects uh, meeting new people socializing and things like that and there's also ends up with a quote underneath which says no good comes from hurrying so um i kind of do that every morning and night it helps me to get myself in the right state of mind and you know then i'm ready to go to hit the gym so this is what i'm gonna do today i'm gonna do this for another like 15 20 minutes sometimes i also lose listen like louise hay or some sort of a motivational morning speakers on youtube um, that also puts my mind on the right track and it gives me a bit of a boost to go and um, either go do the gym you know go to the gym if i don't really feel like or um do other things that i should be doing and sometimes i actually lack you know the motivation for that because you know after all we're human and uh i don't know if i've mentioned to you that i'm um a single mother basically and that is challenging in itself um but nevertheless all these little things all these little habits and routines that i have in the morning and in the night they help me so much they strengthen me as a person mentally and i 
don't let myself go go uh, low i mean some days i do have low moods but i don't really um let myself there sit there i just give myself a day or two whatever i need and then i get out of it but routine helps routine routine morning routine healthy morning routine helps a lot to actually get yourself in the right state of mind and to be able to to maintain that positivity throughout the day if you go to work or anything so um my advice to you um ladies or anyone out there um create for yourself a good healthy routine and even if it's the same thing every morning if it works for you do it and stick with it because uh, the effects in the long term are amazing and uh, you wouldn't you're not going to know that from the very first couple of days maybe you're not going to feel it but as time goes you will see that um they are going to become pieces of the bigger picture and it does help um so yeah i'm gonna do my kind of mindfulness time and then i'm gonna go and hit the gym today we're gonna do uh legs and probably back because i realize i'm losing a little bit of muscle and um, there's going to be a workout coming up later so keep your eyes on my channel if you are interested in it and if you want to use it so thank you very much for watching have a lovely beautiful day the sun is out so stay positive stay calm and stay healthy bye